Okay, today I want to make a brief video about simplifying and solving equations to help support what goes on in the class. Um, hopefully, you guys will be able to pause, fast forward, rewind, see the important things that you might be missing, and watch this on your own time. Okay? We're going to look at the steps of solving an equation. Um, the steps aren't as important as the big ideas, and so I'll try to talk about those big ideas because these steps can help as you're first starting to learn to solve equations. We're also going to talk about some definitions you need to understand to make sure that we're using the same language as we're solving equations, make sure all these things make sense. And we'll go through one example that will use most of the steps. So first we're going to talk about definitions. Uh, one definition we need to clearly understand is term. All right, terms, here's a, a quick example. Uh, we have negative 8m minus 4 plus 3mn minus 4m. There are four terms there. Terms start with a positive or negative sign or operation of addition or subtraction. Oh. Okay. So you'll see this minus 8mn, that is all one term, and then it stops when I run into the next subtraction sign, would make my next term, plus 3mn would be my third term, minus 4m would be my fourth term. Uh, what you can see is that uh, any term can have a sign or an operation. Leading terms, if they're positive, a lot of times don't have a sign in front of them, if it's the first term. Um, you can have a number that is a, called a coefficient. If it goes together with a variable, it's called a constant. If it's just the number by itself, then the, the term you have does not have a variable part. Okay? Um, you could have variable parts that don't have a coefficient, in which case we would assume that the coefficient is 1, because it means you have one of them. Um, next thing is a variable. Variables like m or n were used up there. Uh, one thing I want to point out is that these m n terms would be like terms. The minus 4 m would be not like. I would not be able to combine that with the negative 8 m n and the positive 3 m n. That would be a whole separate category of like terms, which we'll talk about like terms as we're simplifying. Um, we also, I mentioned what constants are. All right, minus. Uh, positive 4 minus 8, those are examples of constants. Um, coefficients, these two coefficients, uh, there's a coefficient for the n term, that would be positive 4, all right? It doesn't show positive, but you can see that, you can assume that the leading term is positive, okay? Not the best drawing I'm showing there, all right? But you can see that that would be positive. Um, and then the other term, is uh, negative 4. Negative 4 would be the coefficient for the other term. Uh, expressions. Expressions are uh, do not have an equal sign, so they're not balanced. You can't really solve an expression. You can just simplify an expression so that you can combine like terms, get only one term of each kind. Equations are made up of two, set, two expressions that are equal to each other. They are balanced on each side, which is the big idea behind solving equations is you use that balance to take the equation apart piece by piece until we can see exactly what the variable piece equals. And then, so the solution to an equation is figuring out what that variable equals. And we solve equations with that balance idea using inverse operations. So when I run into addition, I'll need to use subtraction to solve it, or if I have multiplication, I'll need to use division and vice versa on those until we can peel our equation back to get just the variable part. Okay, um, let's go ahead and erase the screen, get that stuff out of the way. All right, the steps we're going to look at. Um, solving equation is really made up of two big ideas, simplifying the expressions on either side of the equation, so that's all about doing each side, and then the second part of it is solving equations, which is when we use our inverse operations to really isolate our variable and see exactly what our variable equals. Um, I'll just move forward to the next step, and we can do this with our, we'll look at our example problem. Okay, we're going to solve this example problem, following along with our steps, and we'll talk more about our steps as we go. 
first step here, distributing to eliminate parentheses. If you run into any parentheses in your equation that you need to solve, you need to get rid of them using distribution. So we would be taking this minus this negative 4, and we would need to multiply it by each of the terms inside of the, um, inside of the parentheses. And so if we did that, we would get negative 4x, and negative 4 times plus 7 would be minus 28. So you can see that there. Um, the next thing we need to do is combine like terms. If I see like terms, like my x terms are alike, all right, I can combine those to get uh, minus 2x. Negative 4 plus 2 is minus 2, so minus 2x. Negative 28 minus 10. Combine those, I would get negative 38. Also on the other side, the other expression, 36 plus 8, those constants are like terms, so we can combine 36 plus 8. Um, if we look at our next step, we do not have any, uh, any variable terms on the opposite side. We would only need to use step 3 if we had variable terms on both sides. Um, since one side is just 44 a constant, we do not need to eliminate the variable terms from one of the sides. We only have it on one side. So we're looking at step 4, eliminate the constant terms from the variable side. So that would be this minus 38. In order to get rid of that minus 38, we needed to add 38. That would be the opposite of that. Now because it was balanced, if I'm going to add 38 on one side, I also have to add 38 on the other side. So we would need to add 38 over to this side. All right? And that is how we get to the minus 38 plus 38. Those um, are going to cancel whatever you have. If you subtract 38 and then add 38, you're going to get back to that same amount, which is where this minus 2x comes from. All right? And then 44 plus 38 is 82. So that allowed us to eliminate our constant terms from the variable side using addition or subtraction typically. The next piece, we need to eliminate coefficient terms um, from the variable side. So our coefficient here is negative 2. The negative 2 is being multiplied by x. So the opposite of multiplication, again, we're going to use that inverse operation. The opposite of multiplication will be division. So I want to get rid of that negative 7 using division. So I'm going to divide by and sometimes people would just divide by 2, but it definitely will be easier if I divide both sides by negative 2 um, to figure out exactly. And I will wind up with getting my x by itself, because that multiplying by negative 2 and then dividing by negative 2 will cancel each other out. And I'll figure out that x equals whatever 82 divided by 2 is. And 82 divided by 2 is negative 4, divided by negative 2, sorry, would be negative 41. So we have got our x alone. We've seen that x equals negative 41, so we know negative 41 works for this. Um, to check, we could substitute that negative 41 into our original equation. All right, uh, so it's right there. The last thing that we will run as we get into more complicated problems is sometimes our variable term will have an exponent on it, and that would be the last step that we would have to deal with in solving the equation. Then you don't have to do these steps exactly in order if you get the big idea that equations are balanced, so you use inverse operations to isolate the variable, and it's often easier to simplify each side of the equation before we get into using those inverse operations. So that's the general big ideas for solving. I'll probably make another video about um, specific things we run into, specific tricks and stuff that we run into in equations. Um, that can help, but those are the big ideas. The other big idea is the, uh, the check and the substitute. Knowing that my solution is negative 41, I can rewrite this original equation, substitute negative 41 in, and make sure both sides are balanced, is what they should probably both work out to be 44 if you substitute it in, check it. All right, and that will be it for today.